learn how to configure OAS domain in silent mode Oracle Analytics Server video series 3. This video is targeted to beginners to intermediate OAS administrators best suited for the who are already working in OBI administration. The key benefits of this OAS video series give more towards uh, automations, needs, and continuous integration CICD process. Helpful in the Docker containerization process. Namaste, welcome. This is Pavan Devarkonda, your instructor for this session. Oracle Analytics Server Domain. In this one, we are going to learn about what is domain for the OAS. Predicate for the OAS domain. And what are the topologies? We have standard and enterprise topologies. Configuration of the domain in a command line silent mode option. After configuration, middleware directory structure. The summary, finally, what is the next? What is WebLogic domain and OAS domain? A WebLogic domain consists of one or more WebLogic servers. OAS domain is a WebLogic domain that consists of admin server and WebLogic server instance that is BI server one, which associated with the BI five different components. These are the components. The prerequisite for domain configuration. Let us see the latest JDK and middleware, which is already installed in the last previous session. OAS installed and then you have the access to the certified database. In our case, we are using the Oracle database. Fresh schema creation or existing schema, any one of these will work for the domain configuration. We have two options. One is standard of topology, where we are going to have the app host and database host, two different virtual machines or VMs we can use. Database is going to be Oracle 19C or any 12 above version will work for OAS. On the OAS domain side, we can see here admin server, which is going to have the enterprise manager, which is running on it. And then BI cluster, it is going to have the machine where we are going to have BI server running, where BI components, which are just now we have seen five components will be running with the help of node manager. The second different option is enterprise topology where you're going to have the couple of app hosts and database hosts. The database side, you can have high availability using the rack instances as well. So if you're going to have the connectivity between these two, you have to check first that the connectivity. The WebLogic domain configuration, which is going to have the first domain maintains the admin server and the second domain, the expanded domain, which is going to have the BI cluster and BI server. BI server again calls uh, multiple BI components, five different components running on multiple hosts with the help of node manager. When you're going to configure this domain, there are different uh, parameters which you're going to use. The domain host where you want to store this domain, OAS domain, that is a domain path. Domain name, you can name any OAS domain as per the requirements of the, the testing or the production whatever the requirements you have accordingly we can name that domain username that should be uh, whenever you log into the weblogic admin console or em console which will be used that username and password will be entered here the schema prefix which is rcu specific rcu prefix and schema passwords confirm password which is required for the newly created uh, rcu if you want to provide the new values then you can enter Database type Oracle, IBM, DB2, Microsoft SQL, which are supported. Username, password, which you want to give for the Sys or SysDBA role, privileged username and passwords. And if you are going to use existing database, then in that case, you are going to use STB username passwords. Sample connection string, which will be formed with the database host and database port and schema. The service instance modes where you're going to have the, there are two different options. One is multi instance mode and another one is single instance mode. If you're using multi instance mode, then you have to provide this input. The sample response line will be service instance limit is equal to how many hosts you are going to host this BI OAS domain. RCU schema type. If you are going to use this, 
schema rco schemas there are two different options newly creating with this configuration assistant which you are going to run with the config.sh and if you want to use already uh, rco is executed and now you want to use that rco then you can use the existing option if you are using the existing option you can see the left side options where you need to enter prefix and the database stb database password in the right side you can see the example for the newly creating rco using the configuration assistant wizard here we are going to use the new database admin username that is dba privileged username passwords and you can have the schema prefix schema password which you want to use and confirm password these are the values you need to provide for the new rco which you want to create from the silent response file let us see this hands-on on oracle the fusion middleware which is located and the rsp file where you are going to store that is the oas config if you are using the existing then oas config existing dot rsp so that depends on the rco which you are going to use here the path of the config.sh oracle home bi bin config.sh dash silent is the option which will run in a silent mode cli mode the response file where it requires a response file text file which is having all the responses and inventory path location that is which you have created at the time of installation of oas that is provided here running configuration assistant for the oas domain let's see in the silent mode how we can run on the command line let's jump on to the let me open this response file what we have in this response file the response file contains the uh, three important phases so here first section is talks about installation how it is made for the oas and the second part is talking about the domain so domain path domain name etc this is given here and admin username password is entered here admin configuration related stuff then the schema rco specific information is given here schema type is existing i'm using so already existing schema which is qa which we have already created so we can see that schema details over here and we can see qa related in the sql prompt i can see there are two different schemas available in my database oas and qa so qa prefix i want to use for my domain creation we are going to use the 950 is a port range and it will go up to the four nines the default service instance key as ssi this is most important thing which will be helpful for the next further sessions where we are going to refer to deployments of the reports and catalogs let's move on to the domain configuration so this once you run this man and it is going on and on it is going to run couple of checkings once the checkings are completed then it is going for the configuration part the configuration part will contains four phases first is So this will goes on and then we are going to have a couple of uh, redirections and configuration statements first it will check the basic requirements once all set then it is going to start the domain domain configuration done then it is going to start all servers and services components and is going to run and it is going to have all the all components separate each component it is going to use a different port and those ports will be used to launch the component service. So once this configuration is completed, the servers summary we can see, and you can see there will be two servers in, if you are going to check the JPS command admin server and BI server will be running, node manager will be running. So that is how it is going to have the overall summary. You can also here, in the my OFM W experiments in this I have completely listed out what are the steps I followed and where it is works good and uh, 
how the response file will be generated for the RCO which you want to create newly or you want to go for the existing that also I've published here and the domain which you want to access that we can see here this is the domain where I'm going to have the WebLogic admin console so WebLogic login and this is showing the WebLogic 12 to 1 4 here and then uh, after logging into the WebLogic admin console, it will load that admin console. PM console is loaded, then we can enter the username password same as what we have entered for the WebLogic server admin console. Servers here in the environment, you can see the number of servers which are configured over here. It will be having two servers, one is admin server and the DI server one. And you can also see it is a highly available environment that is going to have the cluster also a BA cluster that indicates you are always ready to expand this domain to run on multiple host multi host environment you can just need to say how many instances you want to run for this BI server web logic web logic one to three and also we can check the analytics URL so once you enter the username password, you got this one. And uh, we can also check analytics DV URL, WebLogic DV URL, data visualization. So once you got this uh, getting started Oracle Analytics, we are done with the today's uh, demo. And going back to what we have done so far, configuration part, configuration assistant executed config.sh and it is done with the two flows. One is complete creation of the all domain related stuff. Another set is for the starting of the WebLogic admin server and BI server and their corresponding components. So there are five components and it is all executing, all started with the node manager, which is started. So once we have completed the domain configuration and the middle way, Directory structure looks like this. It is going to have U01 as a home directory where you're going to have the FMW middleware, which is installed. We are going to call it as a Oracle home and Oracle OAS home where installation of Oracle analytics server is present. And then you can see the freshly created domains in this directory. So domain home contains the latest domain oas qa domain and their applications it is going to store the em ear file enterprise manager will be resides in the apps folder so overall the summary for today's session is oas domain configuration what are the options what are the parameters how we can do with the silent mode response file parameters and once it is completed then middleware administration task what it is performing and we have checked that admin console, WebLogic servers up and running, admin server and BI server in the EM console and DV console we have executed and we got this console servers are running state in the WebLogic admin console and in the EM, uh, it takes a little bit longer time to load, I think. Um, that is about the DV console and EM console, how we are able to access. And then next session, we are going to meet with the new learnings, OAS, Oracle Analytics Server, domain controlling with the starting and stopping of the servers. What is the status, how it is going to work with these scripts. All, all are present in the BI tools set. So BI business intelligence tools are present in the Oracle Analytics Server domain directory. So let us see in the next session. Thank you for being with me. Any questions, please drop your comments and questions below given comment section. Please follow me and subscribe to this channel. Jai Hind.